Magic could really exist. It's true. Magic could be real. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about magic, real magic, and how it could actually exist. If you want ice controlling powers like Elsa from Frozen, or you want to fly like a superhero, stay tuned because it might actually be possible. I'm going to explain a breakthrough in science that could allow all of us to become magical beings. So let's get this show on the road. Hello and welcome back to Real World Magic where we make your life more magical. My name's Neil Trigger, I'm going to be your magical host and today I'm going to explain to you how magic might be real and actually exist. Now many of you will know that in the new age mysticism of crystals and burning sage smudge sticks, self-proclaimed psychics and witches bang on about vibrations. Who were? Uh, and they talk about different realms, right? Well, scientists now believe that there could be some credence to this, sort of. You're here, I presume, because you want to know how magic could possibly be real. How could Harry Potter style magic actually exist? To answer that question, you'll need to put away your rational mind for a moment because yes, it's true. Regardless of anything you've heard about physics and what is possible using what we call reality, magic and the effects of magic could still actually exist. So here's how. Scientists are now looking for gateways into a mirror universe. Okay, that sounds science fiction-y. What does that mean? Well, let's assume for a moment that the scientists are right. They say that there are other universes next to ours, but those universes are usually inaccessible. It'd explain all manner of weird things like black holes, white holes, wormholes, lots of holes to be honest, ooh, -er, but it'd be a great leap forward. Assuming that they're right though, what could we find in these mirror universes? Well, this is where it gets really quite exciting because in a mirror universe, you could have literally anything happen. You could have mirror laws of physics, like different laws of physics. So just let that sink in for a moment. Those laws of physics could be the same or different or slightly nuanced. They could even allow magic to be real. And if the scientists are right, Hogwarts does exist somewhere. In an infinite multiverse, it just has to. And that's incredibly exciting on the one hand, but on the other, bloody terrifying. Imagine if you took a fantasy, any fantasy, like the Chronicles of Narnia, for example, the magician's nephew starts out with Diggory being whisked away to a different universe by his sort of scientist uncle, Andrew, who is the magician of the title. Some of the universes Diggory has access to while he's away from our universe are truly horrifying. Yes, there's Narnia with all the talking animals and beautiful scenery, but there's also the land of the deplorable word, where the evil white witch Jadis cursed a blood-red land into near total destruction just by saying a single word. So magic might be real, which is both a blessing and a curse. Now, whether these scientists will ever find the gateway that they're looking for or not has yet to be seen, even whether they're right or not has yet to be seen. But one thing seems fairly clear from the likes of Stranger Things on Netflix and even the other awesome series on Netflix, Lock and Key. Opening other dimensions might be a bit of a problem. This isn't new, by the way. In Silicon Valley, there are at least two people who are employed full time to prove that we're living in a simulation universe and to work out a way not only to prove it but also to get out. If we are living in a tiny microcosm of existence then yes anything is possible and we could see magic, real magic. Moreover if we were touched by a universe where the laws of physics were different then how would that affect our own universe? How would our own universe react? What would happen to you or to me? Would our universe allow you to cast magic spells or fly like a superhuman? Possibly. It's not against our understanding of science to allow that as a possibility, especially with mirror laws of physics. And that's the exciting thing. With this new model of science, pretty much anything is possible. And with that comes both the light and the dark. So as good old Professor Horace Slughorn said in book six of Harry Potter, there can be no light without the dark, Myself, I always try to live within the light. And on that slightly sobering thought, 
I'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching and if you did like this video please do click the like button and subscribe for more of this kind of video. Remember to ding that bell to be notified of future uploads too. These are my patrons and they are awesome, I love them dearly. Patrons get exclusive content and benefits like receiving unique hand design posters like these, free magical tutorials, exclusive live streams, a chance to contribute to this channel, all of that sort of stuff. And if you want me to love you too, or if you just want to support me or this channel, head on over to Patreon or PayPal or join my website and all of the links are in the description. Please also share this video on social media and let your friends know that you like this video and perhaps they will too. Right then, that's it for this week. I'll be back on Saturday the 27th of June 2020 with a live stream where I make ghosts. And that one is going to be hosted by my son and me. We're going to make ghosts and I'm even going to make his head disappear. That's going to be fun. So it'll be 6 p.m. UK time, which is 11 a.m. Mountain time, 12 noon Central time, and 1 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday, the 27th of June. I look forward to seeing you then, but until next time, as always. There are at least two people who are employed. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm tripping over my own lips here. Imagine if you took a fantasy, any fantasy, like the criminal. Please subscribe to Real World Magic. While you're there, click the bell button to be notified of future uploads and have a look at all of my social stuff. Remember to donate on Patreon if you really, really liked it. And I'll see you again next week. <laughs>